Controversial policing strategy being adopted by a number of cities hoping to cut down on crime. ABC's Alex Perche joins us with a look at how this all works. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Wit. The strategy is called Place Network Investigations, credited by some with keeping communities safer. But critics have questioned the accountability of law enforcement that use it. Just four months in. 2022 is already shaping up to be a deadly year. Gun deaths are up compared to this time last year. So far, more than 4,600 nationwide. Police departments around the country now experimenting with new ways to protect their communities. Some using something called place network investigations. The strategy looks at different geographical connections in high violence areas. Supporters call it a holistic approach usually using a combination of surveillance and community partnerships to target criminals and discourage crime. Collecting data and understanding it and then moving against it are, are, are integral part. And any technology that you can leverage to reduce your crime, you, you do that. A Washington Post investigation found that nine U.S. cities have adopted or made plans to implement the place network strategy as a response to rising crime. A lot of cities are really desperate right now as they've seen violent crime and homicides rise. So they're looking for new ways to try to uh, break up cycles of violence. Las Vegas Metro Police has used place network investigations for the last eight months. You, you believe this p and is, is is saving lives? I believe PNI is making a significant difference in those neighborhoods. Deputy Chief Jim Seabock says PNIs have helped them prevent crimes and solve them. You don't get to a solve rate of over 90% last year, uh, high 80s the uh, year before, uh, without community involvement and having trust. But not everyone's on board. Some of the critics of the PNI strategy have said that. Uh, the problem with these types of strategies is that when you are hyper focused on certain areas, you're going to be more likely to then find crime in those areas. Potentially creating a sort of confirmation bias, often in communities of color. And some have raised questions about potential PI abuse. Notably, in 2020, Louisville police came under fire for its PI after an officer was fired and later accused of lying about some of the evidence used to connect Breonna Taylor to her ex boyfriend. Louisville later scrapped the program. In the case of Las Vegas, the community that we, when we started this in 2018 and 2019, were very pleased uh, with the results. And uh, for obvious reasons, when you can drop the violent crime in an area, it makes it safe for all the residents in that area. But law enforcement officers acknowledge the success of the program hinges on accountability and community trust. Uh, I think um, the accountability across all the stakeholders in these issues are important. We have to listen to each other. We can't have this distrust. Along the lines of accountability, one of the things that's come up in our conversation is a national standard for policing. A former law enforcement officer telling us it would definitely help. We don't have one. And in his opinion, there's no reason why not. Eva. Alex Pache for us this morning. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.